DeBaby earned a minor win with this motion. DeBaby has successfully gotten the trial for the battery lawsuit he's facing delayed. Los Angeles County Superior Court Judge Cheryl J. Nellen made the ruling, this week, telling the rapper's new attorney, Alec Rishwain, that he will only have a brief period of time to catch up on the case. Gary Pagger, who accused Baby of beating him up and robbing him during a music video shoot in Los Angeles, filed the lawsuit back in 2021, while I appreciate you are new to the case, everyone else is not. So if this is going to go to trial, it's going to go soon, Nellen told Rishwain. This is a 2021 case. In the whole scheme of things, I just think this case needs to go to trial. The latest update comes after DeBaby previously pleaded guilty to attacking Packer in the related criminal case. In doing so, he was able to avoid jail time. DeBaby hopes that he'll be able to submit a video of Packer saying the N-word during the confrontation as evidence for the trial, although the plaintiff's team has attempted to block the move. After defendant Jonathan Kirk punched plaintiff Gary Packer in the face without warning, knocking out his tooth and leaving him lying on the ground bleeding profusely, and after Mr. Kirk's associates had pushed, taunted, threatened, and spat on Mr. Packer, stolen his phone, and vandalized his house, after these events, Mr. Packer uttered the N-word, they admitted, arguing it was irrelevant to the assault in question. DeBaby's lawyers countered, plaintiff admits that there is no factual, Dispute as to whether he yelled the N-word to Kirk, yet conveniently seeks to argue that such a racial slur is irrelevant to the claim of battery. A jury may find that the alleged battery was the consequence of a sudden heat resulting from plaintiff's provocation, thus barring any potential award of punitive damages. Be on the lookout for further updates on DeBaby.